Well, good morning, farming fans, and welcome back to another episode of Lock Valley Farms. It is Saturday, May 6th today, and I think teething is just going to keep rolling on from here. So yeah, it is that time of year, guys. We have had our dribs and drabs of rain, and we've got a bit of a weed germination, and it's, it's definitely well and truly time to get the faba beans in, so... I think that's all we're going to work on today. What I was doing here, we just got a little bit of um, feed, crack and barley left in the air seeder. So we just got this little piece on the side of the road that we just use as a bit of a holding area for stock at times. And we just like to run a little bit of feed in there every year just so we've um, so there's a little bit of coverage and a little bit of feed in there when we put, put sheep in there. So we did that. Um, vetch is all done, canola trial is all done, uh, we did that paddock of crack and barley yesterday, that was a bad bar uh, ryegrass paddock last year with barley, so we're just putting some feed barley in there this year and we'll just graze that, try and clean up the grasses, but today we're going to swap over to some beans. I'm not going to lie, by the time we clean out the air seeder, get beans in, calibrate, inoculate all this sort of stuff i don't see us actually getting any beans in the ground today there'll have to be some spraying done as well so yeah i mean if we can get basically ready to go to, for tomorrow then i think that'll be a win so we'll see how we go Rightio, so while I've still got a little bit of feed barley in, this paddock here was the one that got burnt, as you can see. If you go back through my videos and you saw the fire, this was it. But as you can see, I've got lots of coverage here on the ground. I've got nothing here. This paddock's staying out of crop this year. It's just having a break, trying to clean all the grasses up. Needs a good break. So I'm just going to seed a bit of barley in here just so we've got something actually growing down here rather than leaving it bare like that all winter. I mean, it'll probably eventually grow a little bit of stuff, but I, uh, you know, it's just not going to be enough. I'd rather just come in here with some of the while we've got a bit of this in here, just seed some in there, then we know we've got some good cover there. I don't know, there's probably a good couple of hectares here, I guess, so I don't even know if I'm going to have enough seed to get this done. But anyway, we'll get something on it. So yeah, I don't know, I might buy my first flock of sheep this year maybe and run them in here. I mean, it's only about 27, 28 hectares, but... Yeah, got to try and make some money off it somehow, I guess. Once again, we're the kings of getting some rain, but just nowhere near enough. A bit more misty drizzle, but we'll take it. It's all welcome. Jeez, the canola next door will be absolutely loving that. Just keeping things damp. Well, I'm pretty much out. So we're just going to keep going and run that right down. I'm not going to quite get finished, unfortunately. But at least, you know, there'll be something growing here now on most of it. So that's that's good. That's all we really needed. Well, that's another job done. And that's exactly how I like to finish off seeding one variety. Just run it all the way out to the bottom because then there's no cleaning out required. Oh, the wind was going the wrong way then. Ah, oh. Just drop the door and go for a drive. Hopefully that'll be about all I gotta do. So I gotta say, things do feel slightly unorganised, I guess, at times around here, but um, at the end of the day, we are well and truly on schedule at the moment. So if we can get those beans in over the next couple of days and then we can switch over and start thinking about some wheat. So we're right ahead of the curve at the moment in terms of our timing and all that sort of thing so yeah can't complain at all and like i said we'll just keep chipping away at the program now we've got um we've got a bit of a weed germination and stuff like that so there's there's nothing stopping us from getting a knockdown out and some pre-emergence and just getting things in the ground I appear to have a couple of resident kangaroos in this particular paddock and I'm not surprised because there's plenty of green in here at the moment so they're probably having a... and there's no sheep so I got pickings of everything. Alright, I've got to get down in there and take out the small seeds plate 
And Jane and I will just blow up the top of the rollers, make sure there's nothing in there that shouldn't be in there or that we don't want in there. they put on that canola seed is particularly horrible stuff and there's still heaps of it in the bottom of that that bin there oh, I'm glad to be out of there <laughs> well there's been a little bit more light drizzle come through which we definitely won't say no to now I've just been stuffing around here I haven't done this before but this year I decided to do it I changed around the gears on the metering unit I put the the big gear is normally on this side and the little ones over here and I swap them around because it helps you get your rate um, a little bit easier with the beans because they got to go out at like 130, 140 kilos a hectare but yeah like I said I haven't done that before and that's how it should normally look so I've got the big one on the front now but I'm just trying to get the rate a little bit higher this year probably up around 140. We have been aiming for that 120, 130, but I just feel like, and from what I've heard from other blokes around the area, they're generally seeding them a little bit higher than that, and, and I feel like they just do a bit better when there's a few more numbers there. I thought I'd do that, that way I know I shouldn't have any trouble getting my rate now. I'm lucky enough that Dad's helped me out and he's filled up the truck, so that's ready to go. All I need to do is fill this up and calibrate it, but at the moment, Dad's up trying to fix up some uh, spray a wheel marks up in one of the paddocks that's having beans put in that so he's just asked me to go up there and have a quick look and um, see what sort of a job i think it's doing so we might shoot up there quickly and and have a look oh well, i had to go up the house and get my jacket because it is just bitterly cold out here at the moment i'm oh my lips don't want to work <laughs> that's standard but uh, I'm, I'm a bit soft these days. I just, uh, I hate the cold. I hate, I hate winter. I don't know. Anyway, rightio, let's go have a look. See, see how we're going with these wheel marks. So after we seeded that canola, uh, that seven and a half mil, uh, a couple of days later, we had one and a half mil overnight. And then the next day we had about two and a half, three mil which was just really good for, and, and then again now we're having a few more showers. It's just good to keep the top of that soil damp, anything that's a bit shallow. We really should get a good germination out of that now, I think. It's just how long we're going to wait now until another rain, or a decent rain, I should say. I mean, have a look at that rut there. That's going to need quite a few passes over it, I think, to try and fill that back in. Uh, that was the wet spring last year. I came into this paddock. This paddock typically a fairly dry paddock and hard and I thought well We've got no problems in here whatsoever, and I just made an absolute mess of it Ended up pulling out after you know probably doing you know eight or nine hectares because I was just destroying the place So we're trying to tidy them up a bit now This was going to be my job today, but Dad said, do you want me to go and do it? And I said, mate, that would be absolutely great. So, anyway, I think we're going to have to get a few runs over this, but that old AFM, because it's got the rolling harrows on the back, sort of works well to sort of cover in the holes a bit. So, how many times have you been over this one? So this is the second. Time. Yeah. So one side wasn't too bad. Yeah. The problem is, is the tines don't come out far enough to hit this big ridge. Yeah, and the only other thing is to do a blow this way and then a blow on that wheel, which is yeah, a bit of a pain. These super bad ones I might have to do twice. Yeah, there's some of those other ones, I think, if you went over them once, like they're not that, like, especially down along the bottom there, especially that second track in, you'd just be able to go over that and that's all it would need. So yeah, the problem here is that, well, the old 6510 doesn't really have enough power to fold the wings down. Obviously, we could fold a wing down and we'd cover the whole thing easily, but I think we're just going to have to do a couple of runs over some of the bad ones and and uh, yeah, then leave it at that. Well, I did a I did a post on Facebook the other day saying things on the farm are only happening as they need to, and this is a prime example. Like I said before, we're running on schedule, but we're just getting things done as they need to be done, and it's yeah, 
it's better than not being done i suppose but yeah it would have been nicer for this to be done a long time ago because now we're just opening up the ground and any moisture that's there it's going to be gone yes a wheel track renovator would be nice i did try and track one down but it was just getting too late in the season people are all behind people are using them so we're just making do with what we've got at the moment there and oh look it'll get the job done it's only this little bit in this paddock here that we've got to do so it's not a big deal we'll we'll make it work all right we'll get the truck going we'll get set up uh, we'll get some seed and furt back in this beast and then yeah we're gonna have to run a calibration on those beans glorious weather it really didn't look like rain but yeah it's raining again it would be nice if it would just give us a decent rain like 15 or 20 millimeters i don't know rightio guys so we got the tag team inoculant here to go on the beans now this stuff helps the beans fix nitrogen back into the soil as they grow so it's just like a coating basically that goes on the seed someone who's a lot smarter than me will know a lot more about it but basically all i know is we put it on there and it helps the plants fix nitrogen back into the soil it helps them uh, do a better job of it as they're growing so we've got to put about one bag of that on per ton so we're going to get probably mid to high three tons in the air seeder so we're going to have to go through a good three and a half to four bags we used to put it on as a liquid now i just dust it on as it's going in because we've done that before and it makes the seed really sticky and then it doesn't flow through the metering unit properly and that's one of the reasons why one year we didn't put the beans out at the right rate so we did three years straight and we did not get beans out at the right rate once so we've learned our lesson so 24.580 is what the weight was it says that it put out 26.35 so there's a bit of adjustment to be made there uh, we'll adjust that down i'll probably double check this just to be on the safe side just because i've never had any luck with calibrating beans and i just want to be extra extra sure with this lot well i ended up checking that about four times because every time i would check it i'd get a wildly different weight i was going from 25 and a half kilos to 23 and a half so i ended up doing about four and i got two that were the same for the same amount of revolution so i just went off of that one anyway we're gonna see how that goes <laughs> because that was absolutely painful well we'll see if we can go get a quick tank full of chemical out and then it'll be seeding beans tomorrow well good morning guys we are back in the saddle uh we're fast forwarding to the next morning because i was going to go over and fill up the chemical last night i got over there got away from the sheds and i just thought the wind was just it was too strong there was it was a little bit on the edge and i just thought look we're not desperate i'll just wait till the morning till the winds died down a little bit it's too damp and dewy in the mornings anyway to really get stuck into it the stubble is just so sticky and it just rolls up in balls and all that sort of thing it's uh, it doesn't work that well so i thought i'll just come out and spray this morning and then um yeah we'll get in get into seeding it once things sort of dry up a little bit Uh, yeah i'm probably well i'm almost 20 hectares into this tank full so i guess i got another 35 to go and then out of this into the tractor rightio that's all done and dusted well i guess we'll do it let's get stuck into it it is a very very chilly may day out there today it's supposed to be like 12 or 13 degrees maximum I mean, that's like July weather, not May. Well, look at us go. We're really doing it. Putting some beans in. Once again, it's been a very long road, and I guess we'll get down the other end and check seed depth, and then maybe it's time for a 
montage. That looks pretty good. Because we put a product out called Overwatch with these beans, it's quite soluble and you've got to get the seed depth fairly right. And they want to be about three centimetres deep just to protect the seed. So beans are a strong germinator, so we want to get them nice and deep. Well, they're looking pretty nice. And actually there's a bit of moisture down there. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these actually germinate, which will be nice but yeah it won't be a good germination but some of them will definitely get going I just threw in some seed and furt. We'll go back and try and knock off this last 20 hectares of this paddock tonight, which would be nice to finally get a paddock done. Now, I was only saying to Stace the other day that for these beans, I have to, this is what I've done so far. I've sprayed a knockdown about a week ago. I came back, I sprayed pre-emergence. I've got to seed it. I've got to come back and roll it. Then I've got to spray a post-seeding pre-emergent. And then I've got to spread some mouse bait, especially on this paddock. So I'm going to have to do like five or six passes on this one paddock. Unbelievable. All done and dusted, guys. It is 7.38, so not too bad. That's all i got for you guys today. I'll leave this video here. As always, thank you very much for watching the videos, and I'm going to do the whole hit the like button if you like the videos and if you're not subscribed please consider subscribing because it really helps me out that's it we'll see you all next time have a good one